Hello everyone, thank you for checking in on my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this dress without having a pattern. Last spring when Corona came to town, soon been a year, I thought to myself I need to do something creative, something constructive with my time at home. So I started sewing. And I'm no professional by any means, but I've been sewing since and it's been going pretty well and I think it's super fun. So I just thought I'd show you how you can do it yourself. So as I said, I don't have a pattern and this is how I make most of my clothes. I start by using a t-shirt or a tank top or something as a reference and I just draw it onto the fabric that I'm using. The fabric you see me use here is thrifted from a thrift store in Stockholm and I think I bought it for 60 kroner which is about six dollars or six euros. So if you can find something at your local thrift store or even at home like you can use a sheet or a blanket or some type of fabric you no longer use and I think you should start by using some type of fabric you already have if you can before buying new so what I like to do is that I draw the lines of the t-shirt as you just saw me do and then I start by cutting just one of the sides and as you can see I flip it over and then I, I have my lines there but I still want to use it as reference and cut as you see me do to have both sides look exactly the same. This dress is in the same style as the first dress that I made last year and that one I actually made from a, a bed sheet so you can definitely use a sheet if you have one and it's super rewarding to work this way because you don't since you don't have a pattern you will see results immediately and you will it's very like intuitive the way to work and here you can see me make the sleeves and I just try to have them to be wider or yeah I think you can say wider than the actual hole of your sleeve is because I will gather the fabric so it will shrink up and um, so you want it to be wider so you have some space and also some sewing allowance making the skirt is also super easy it's basically just a square of fabric just make sure that you do the top of the skirt wider, probably 20 to 30 centimeters wider than what the waist is on your top. And this is also because we're gonna uh, gather, have a gather stitch and then it's gonna like shrink up a little uh, to have that fluffy, roughly vibe. So here I'm just cutting the sides to have two equal squares or rectangles to work with. This is probably something you should be doing before starting, but I was kind of eager to get started. So now I'm just ironing my fabric to have it lie flat when I start sewing. I think it's so nice to be sewing like this and listening to a podcast or Swedish radio in my case and just catching up on the world news and all craziness and just being chill and sewing. So what I'm doing here is just a straight stitch and I wanted to start with a top and I think this is always the most helpful to start by making a top because that's where like that's the center of everything so I just start by creating a tank top and here I am 
cutting away some fabric to make space for my head. As I mentioned, the process is super intuitive, so when you try it on, you will notice the fabric will probably be a bit wonky around your breasts, so uh, if you have breasts, uh, you will probably notice that. So what I'm doing now is I'm pinning down where I will be sewing darts, and if you would have a pattern, this will be drawn out on your pattern. But since we don't have one, this is the way we're going to do it. And doing this can be like a bit tricky, but just take your time, be patient and make sure they are even before you start. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to zigzag those edges for the fabric to be protected. So this is me jumping ahead of myself, but since I recorded it this way, let's just stick to it. So to create the gathered skirt, you just need to do a stitch, a straight stitch with longer stitches or stitch length. And then you just sew a straight stitch and you can do it this way by doing two stitches or just one. But this is what I should have done first but I did it afterwards, so yeah, anyway, sometimes you make mistakes. But if you uh, fold and iron, and then you fold and iron on top of that, and then you pin it down, that's gonna make the edge look nicer. You don't have to do it, just if you want to have a nice seam, and you don't have a overlock machine. This is me just doing it over again. A straight stitch with a longer stitch length to later gather the fabric. Make sure you don't cut the threads too short because that's gonna make it harder for you. So you just pull the threads that you just cut off and this will make this gathered effect. It's super easy but be gentle so because you don't want the thread to break so just be careful while doing this. And I'm gonna do this both on the sleeves and on the skirt. So pull the fabric gently to make it even and make it match the length of your top or the waist of your top and then pin it down. So we will be sewing these two pieces together just with a straight stitch. For this part, you can go back to a shorter stitch. So this is 2.5 on my machine. Then I did the same thing on the other side of the skirt. So I did the back and now we're doing the front just the same way. So folding and ironing so you have a flat and nice edge there and then pin it down and then do the straight stitch with a longer stitch length. So I did the other side off camera and now I'm just stitching the back and the front together on the side of the skirt so where your legs are. It's the next day and I'm continuing with my dress. So what you will see me do now is that I will do the same type of gather stitch on the sleeves. And I'm pulling the fabric to make it gather and collect like this. And this is basically the same process as with the skirt. You just attach the sleeves with a straight stitch. And then I like to do the bottom of the sleeves, if that makes sense, uh, the last, so I know exactly where to do that. So this is what I'm doing here. To hem the sleeves, I'm just doing the same thing with the iron that you saw me do the day before. I fold and I press it down and I fold once again and then I close it with a straight stitch. 
and I'm doing it exactly the same way on the bottom of the skirt folding, pressing down, folding, sewing a straight stitch and this will create a nice hem so it's the next day again and I decided that I wanted to open up the dress in the back and make a button closure there to make it easier for me to get in the dress without destroying my makeup or yeah my hair not that I do something special with my hair but just to make it easier so I'm just pinning down where the center is and then um, just cutting so this was a little bit nerve-wracking but it turned out pretty well and I'm just cutting away some fabric to make like a, a keyhole shape in the back of the dress so you will see it here this was actually the trickiest part I used this cotton band to uh, make a nice edge there and this was kind of tricky so if you have any advice on how to do that in a better way please share it but I managed to sew it down and now I'm just adding the button to close the dress I just sewed a piece of extra fabric that I had into a loop and voila there you go so yay we made it a dress completely without a pattern Anyone you say, anyone you say